If you're a golfer, drivers are almost always the club you work with most. But today we're talking about how you should actually be spending your time warming up. And this week's chipping around the Grand Strand, News 13 Scotty Powell has a secret from the pros at River Oaks Golf Course. We're back out here at River Oaks Golf Club with Tyler Faust of Tyler Faust Golf, the teaching pro. And Tyler, we've been working on our wedges. We kind of got that figured out. Now we've got our yardages kind of in play of knowing where we need to hit the ball. But now we get these tricky shots where you have maybe a 40 yard pitch or a 70 yard pitch. And those can honestly be some of the hardest because you don't know how exactly to hit the ball. So today you're going to help us get better at that. Yeah, absolutely. And you're right. That's the one, you know, we just hit a great drive. We're sitting, sitting pretty 60, 70 yards out. And we see it all the time of like duffing that next shot. Um, and it just infuriates us. So part of it is we don't practice it enough. You know, I'll, I'll sit out here at the range all the time and, and see guys, you know, hit three or four shots with their wedges and then jump straight to the driver and hit the rest of the bucket. So make sure that you are spending plenty of time practicing how to hit those different shots. So the, the technical part of how to hit the different shot is we want different length of swing, not harder or softer. So it's easy again for us to think, okay, I need to hit this 40 yards let me take it way up here, but go softer, go slower through there. So we need to always want to accelerate through the ball. We're just taking that club back a little bit shorter than our full swing. All right, so we are working on that 40 to 60 yard kind of half swing wedge shot. That always gets us in trouble out there. A couple key thoughts with this. We are wanting to keep weight forward. Hands are no good in this swing. So we're wanting to use only body and making sure we are finishing pointing towards that target. So we're weight forward, ball position in the middle, and finishing towards the target. Tyler, thank you for that tip. I know I personally struggle with that in between yardage, and I know a lot of other folks who do as well, and hopefully that could save a few strokes because we come into it a lot out on the golf course. Absolutely, you hit the, the wedges and shots inside of 100 yards way more often than we hit our driver, so if you really want to start knocking down some strokes, make sure that you're, you're getting these wedges dialed in and getting the different distances dialed in. So head out to the range, get those wedges dis distance in and better your golf game. And I guarantee you these short shots will come a lot more easier. Scotty.